today we have our new sail bag going on as we can see here we've currently got this beautiful tarp which is covering all of our bag um, and sail uh, so that'll be coming off today and then we'll putting the new bag on um, so we've just had that made by Jace here at Kawana Waters Marina in Queensland um, really good guy he's done a great job um, fairly good on price too so pretty happy with that um, as you can see behind us we have our life raft that's just been put in so it's a four-person offshore life raft um, it was last serviced in 2015 so it's almost due for another service uh, which we'll we'll get done once it's due uh, we can see over the back here we've got our new barbecue cover that's gone on which is great and that's just protecting that barbecue out of the sun and salt um, too easy but let's get into it and start the day and first thing we've got to do is get this uh, sail bag the old tarps and stuff off so we can put the new one on After living and working on Insatiable for almost six months, we are so close to our goals. The boat is almost finished, and in about four weeks, we will be heading north. Under the radar, like These videos are possible by you guys, so thank you so much for your subscriptions, and be sure to leave a comment below. water and I had this open and now oh, I have a wet boat a very wet boat won't do that again so I'm just gonna close this up properly Flying low under the radar Like a night hawk stealth plane you are Hiding out in the shadow So what I'm going to do is simply pull the sail up um, to the first reef and just let it air out a little bit um, and then if the wind picks up I can just easily drop it. And there you have it, done. Now let that dry and then we'll go pick up the new bag and get it on. Very wet. There's a bit of wind so it'll, it'll dry off pretty quick. While that's happening, I'll run you through and show you the timbers that we've done. So as you can see, all of our timbers on deck We've had them all sanded back nicely all the way through and we used an oil so we used a, a deck oil that people use at their homes and we used it because it's extremely strong it lasts a long time and just looks good it's easy to use um, so we've got it going all the way through so we did every rail with it and yeah it's just it's just a great great option instead of using you know your, your two packs or your, um, your different styles of varnish you know, we like the color of it it's nice and dark and just gives a nice smooth finish and it also uh, waterproofs it as well so it's um, built for tough environments built for the Sun so it's, we find it really good and that's called um, uh, ultra deck and we just bought that from Bunnings um, yeah all as well anyway we'll let this dry out a bit more and then after she's all dried out, I'll pack her away properly. We'll set the laser jacks back up and we'll be good to go.
if you're anything like me when it comes to fishing, you're gonna love it. And putting your rods somewhere where they're not always in the way can be quite a pain. Now, I don't like putting them inside the yacht because I kind of like the inside just being a home and being you know, clean and fresh and somewhere you can, it's a small space so you know I don't want it cluttered with rods and that kind of crap. So what I've done is I've gone and purchased one of these. So it's a five storage rod holder. Basically you put one up the top and one down the bottom. Wherever you want to go and you can just clip your rods into it and then just run a snatchy or a little bungee cord around it just to stop them from popping out, worst case scenario. Now, uh, they're not secure, anyone could steal them off the boat, um, but I guess we've got a bit too much trust and um, that's the way we're gonna go, so we'll chuck these on. We're still waiting for the sail to dry. So, while we're waiting for that to dry behind us, we'll give these a go. They're all wet from the sail bag, emptying water into it. So at the moment, this is where I've got all of the all of the rods stored they're kind of just you know bunched up around here and there's some there and I've got some just in the cockpit as well so it'll tidy them all up clean them up get them out of the way and it'll be good so I'll zip tie them on first to find a spot where I like them and then after that I'll get some stainless steel brackets and they'll just hold it on for the future so they're just around the back there out of the way not too bad either. So the wind's starting to pick up, so I'm gonna have to take the sail down. Um, hopefully, it's not bringing any rain with it. But I'll get up and pull this down now. He's just showed up, so we'll go grab him and bring him down. The new sail bag. Ooh. Cheering. Now that the tarps have been removed from the boom, we're ready to put the new sail bag on. The first step was to lower the boom so we could reach the back of the sail. After the boom was lowered, we then started to undo the reefing lines from the back of the sail so we can start to push the sail forward and removing the lugs from the track inside the boom. With the reefing lines untied, we now bring the sail bag up to the sail. What I'm doing here is I'm marking the lugs for the sail bag that will go inside the track. Now I'm marking them on the sail, that way we can slowly put the sail back on the boom with the lugs for the sail bag between the different lugs for the sail. Now with the lugs all marked out, we can start placing the first lug for the sail bag and then the next lug for the sail in between. Now as we go, we slowly put all the lugs back through the track and we pull the sail bag down the boom. Now as you can see, the sail bag is still closed. Now we're doing this just to ensure we have the right amount of lugs and the sail will sit correctly. When you do this yourself, you will need to make sure that your sail bag is open 
and it's sitting on each side of the sail. That way when the sail drops, it falls down into the bag. So this is the finished sail bag. As you can see, we've got a bit of sun out, which is a nice change. I wasn't able to finish filming yesterday because it just started pouring down. But it's all up. We're pretty happy with it. It looks much better than what we did have before. And it's, you know, protecting the sail a lot more as well, so that's great. Alrighty, time for the news. So, what's happening? So, as you know, we're currently in Malulaba. Uh, we've been here for a while now. We've been here since June. Um, so we are really itching to get out. Um, we've got our boat where we need it. It's safe, it's sturdy, and we, we're pretty confident that it's gonna, we've done everything we need to do to get the boat where we need it. Um, so the next plan for us is to head up to Cairns, so Northern Queensland. So we will be heading off in about four weeks. Uh, we'll be documenting our whole trip and documenting every island that we stay at. Um, and just to show you guys, you know, what it's like, um, it is manageable for anyone to do, especially young people in their mid twenties. Um, it's, um, it's going to be an adventure and we're really, really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, your support, your subscriptions, your comments, um, it, it all helps. Um, so all the information you guys feed, we all take it on board and we've learned a lot just from people leaving comments as that as well. Um, so like I said, four weeks we'll be heading off. Um, I'll be sailing the boat from here to Bundaberg and then I'll be meeting Renee in Bundaberg and she'll join me for the rest of the trip up to Cairns. Now, um, when we get to Cairns, there's a couple of more things I want to do to the boat. Um, I want to upgrade winches and stuff like that, the more expensive things. Um, so we'll be up in Cairns doing a bit of working and just saving that money as well. So the next three to four weeks for us is provisioning and doing that kind of thing. Um, so we'd love to show you guys how we do it and you know, we'll be getting a food list up shortly and um, that kind of thing. Just the little things you need to do just to be prepared. On our way up, we'll be going to some pretty famous places like the, um, you've got the Great Keppel Islands that we'll be going to checking out. We'll check out the Percy Islands as well. Um, we'll spend a lot of time on the Great Barrier Reef and we'll be sure to um, show you through places like um, Townsville, Early Beach, all those many popular places as well. Uh, when we get up to Cairns, we're going to be doing a bit of uh, tourist activities around Cairns as well. Uh, we want to take you guys down to the Daintree Forest and a couple of things like that as well, just to sort of show you what, what is around Cairns. Um, but look, we've got heaps of episodes to come up. Um, we should get quite a few out of this trip for you guys. But um, look forward to showing you guys and let's do it. Talk to you soon.